doing this? Oh. Yeah, hey. Hey, Connor. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. How's it going? Uh, I don't know. We'll see you in a few minutes. Uh, oh, yeah. Wait, what? 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 Hi. I'm saying <laughs> hi. Hi, guys. Zing and Mike here from Ming Mike Productions Live again. So, um, this time around, we're going, going to just do the first part of um, the next two-parter. Um, so, episode four. Under no, the episode lake. three, excuse me. Mm -hmm. uh, Under the Lake. Episode three, part one of two. Yes. <laughs> part one of two. Um, so, um, initial thoughts. <laughs> Without cursing. <laughs> Without cursing. It's implied. <laughs> well, let, let, let's let's yeah. just say when this episode got over, and I mean I do understand, um, there was like a... Out. Yeah, we kind of freaked out, and there was like a yes. what WTF like... It's like, what? Yeah. What? Yeah. what? Why? Very loud from, from I just said scan. I called hey. it. I... I call it. it. Spoilers, man! <laughs> he hasn't said anything, though. Spoilers. <laughs> Okay, but anyways, besides the ending, like, wh what did what did we like? What did we not like about the episode? I can't remember all of it. <laughs> well, um, I think one um, one thing I, I for me, anyways, that I personally liked was um, the doctor was a lot more. Um, he's leaving. Oh. Say bye, bye to Alex, everybody. Nice Alex, 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 say, nice say goodbye you. to the YouTubers. Right, say bye to the people. See you, Rachel. He knows you. See, See you, Connor. Yeah. Hey, say bye, everybody. Uh, bye, YouTube. See ya. Talk to you later. Peace. He's December. never coming back. December. <laughs> we'll be watching later. Yep. Um. Okay, you yeah, were talking about the doctor. Yeah, yeah. Um. So what I liked, what I liked about the doctor in this episode, um, he, I felt he got a lot more room to, um, kind of explore himself. Like, when I, when I say yeah. that, like, I felt like this was a more natural, like, yeah. episode for the Doctor compared to the yeah. last I mean, one. Yeah. I mean, last for one sure. was, like, so high on, a, like, emotions and energy. Everything was everywhere. Yeah. This time had a little bit of a this more, is more of back a chance. Barrowman era-esque feel. Yeah. Less of a Moffat-esque feel mm -hmm. of an episode. Yeah, it was really refreshing, actually. Yeah, I, don't know. <laughs> I miss I, uh, the older episodes. I like that we finally got to see a practical use of the sonic. Sunglasses. I was just gonna say sonic sunglasses. It, it was very reminiscent of like the, I think Moffat has a thing for sunglasses or just glasses in general or something because he did have those like glasses that had the feed to the TARDIS with with Amy and Appalachia. Oh, oh yeah. 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 Um, well, with, well, with Rory. And yeah, Rory I was gonna say Rory yeah. first, and then. but like, but but you know, with Amy, like, yeah. so, so he because he couldn't come out of the TARDIS. Um, mm -hmm. so that was interesting to see. Yeah, um, is there anything, minus the ending, that we, well, I mean, actually, I, I'm going to say the ending was good, because it, it yeah. just well, totally yeah, so that's, just, that's a bigger it thing was good, yeah, about. yeah, yeah, it was good, so, okay, it was good. so what did we, nice it's it's good. Good. what, what did we, okay, what did we not like? Okay, because mm. I'm going to be honest, the whole episode or the ending? Just the, just whole, the whole episode. Because I'm, I'm going to be honest, there wasn't too much to dislike in this Me episode. Me neither. Yeah. Like, um, the, I mean, the things that I did dislike are like real nitpicks. Um, yeah. Like, yeah, I mean, if we really sit down and nitpick it, yeah. If I'm going to be honest, uh, Clara got a teeny bit annoying for me. I love Clara. I just feel like she's getting stretched a little thin, so they need to pull something out of her, and I'm like... Yeah, that, that interaction between her and the Doctor and the TARDIS, I didn't get it. I don't know if yeah. maybe I just couldn't, like, hear them. I feel like they're building up like, something with that, but, like, before yeah. then, where she was just like, come on, let's go, let's do things, and he was like, well, we yeah, actually have to look around. Yeah, there's some grounds to, yeah. like, character development for Clara, because obviously we've yeah. gotten, yeah. we need something for this season. Yeah. But, yeah, I, Clara, this episode is not her strongest. Yeah. No. Um... And the one thing that I kind of found disturbing, actually, about their conversation in the TARDIS mm. is the Doctor was like, you you need a hobby, you need something else, you need a new love in your life, and she's like, nah. And then the Doctor has that face that's like, but I see what this is doing to you. Yeah, he's and it's, worried it's, about her. It's, it's, well, yeah. Yeah. it's not good. And I liked seeing that side of the Doctor. Mm -hmm. like, And yeah. she was like, okay, we're done. We're, do we're done with this conversation. We're going to go out there and we're going to see ghosts. Mm -hmm. Goose. Yeah, and I mean, Goose. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I, 
I would totally agree with Clara. Yeah, if you're in a place that has, you know, ghosts, I mean, it's pretty cool. I know. But at the same time, it's like, but heck, you, the TARDIS was even saying, this is a bad place. Yeah. Yeah, you should yeah, not yeah. be here. Yeah. And Clara's like, oh, let's go. Yeah, cool. I think something's going on with yeah. Clara, and I think that's what they're yeah. leading up to. Yeah, but, like, without anything... I I don't, I don't want to say without explaining it because like I don't like being spoon fed everything. Uh, yeah. I don't think anybody does, but like without seemingly any basis for it, it was a little off. Yeah, right. the, the conversation. Not the conversation, just Clara's attitude oh, yeah. 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 in general <clears throat> during the whole episode. Yeah, um, and I will I like I remember which one of you. Oh, it was probably I think it was you that said her character was off before. Um, like she, her, it just didn't feel natural for her mm -hmm. in the episode. Yeah. One moment I think in the episode where that was most noticeable was when after they had chased all the ghosts and she comes in with the rest of the people and oh, they're yeah. they're greeting each other and then she's like, "Yeah, yeah me. I'm fine too." Yeah. It's like, yeah, it's like, yeah. okay, Clara, we know you're there. But it is not about you. Yeah. yeah. I mean, no, she did risk her life alongside all these people. Well, I, I get it, but, yeah. but actually, at the same time, she's kind of aiming the focus on her at that point. Yeah. Yes. I think it was more of a it joke, was, though. I, oh, yeah. a joke I, felt, I felt like it was a reference to Mama yeah. himself, because it reminded me of, uh, I forget the episode title, but it was with the Weeping Angels on the spaceship in the forest um, with Amy. Oh, oh, oh. oh uh, uh, Amy and Flesh and yeah. Stone. Flesh and Stone, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, like, everyone's getting assigned all these jobs, and Amy's like, anybody need me? Anything I can do? Well, no? see, see, in that moment, I felt it was it was more a joke. In this moment, I felt it's more like, yeah, I'm yeah, here hi, too. Hey, yeah. yeah, it's like, and like they were all like hugging each other because they were it, like a family, and she, well, yeah, she's like, yeah, they're they're yeah. they're, they're friends yeah. with each other. They just met you, Clara. They don't have an obligation to care about. You. I mean, they, they probably weren't like, oh darn it, she's not dead. Like, <laughs> but still, no like good different. team, like great yeah. job yeah. out there, like. I don't know. I don't think that's yeah. entirely like writing in Clara's fault. I just yeah. feel like I just think it was like just an off thing in it was, general. It was a little mm -hmm. off. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so this episode we were introduced to ghosts. basically ghosts. Ghosts. Um, ghosts. What ghosts. What did we think about the ghosts? I still don't want to know what's up with that first guy uh, that looks like a who from. Uh, <laughs> Uh, from, oh, how, yeah. from How the Grinch Stole Christmas, yeah. the, the guy with the beard, and the uh, of course the black guy died first. Again. <laughs> Again. 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 Yeah. For the second time in a row, Moffat. Third time in a row, Moffat. Um, this is White House. He didn't even write it this time. Yeah, it's not Moffat. It's but it's his, he's the showrunner, so he's I know, but I'm just saying, he didn't even write it this time. So. First rule of leadership, Moffat. Everything is your fault. <laughs> <laughs> um, sorry. Sorry. Um, but yeah, the designs were really cool. The rules around them were uh, pretty yeah. pretty original. They weren't I mean, as spooky as I had hoped they would be, but I mean, yeah, it's but, they were, but they were, so. but they were certainly intimidating. Like, yeah, were, yeah. Uh, yeah. It, I feel like the next episode is gonna be spookier because I've got whatever the <laughs> that thing is. That's yes, like, yeah. that that's scary. that that looks creepy. Right. The scary, the um, crap moment. Yeah. To me, it was a little at the very beginning. It was rest mm -hmm. reminiscent of. Um, when Matt Smith and Clara went ghost hunting that one time. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, with, with and then movie. as we learned about it, it became more of like that whole Wi-Fi episode. Yeah. Um, about yeah. St. John, where like souls were getting hijacked and used for something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's yeah. what it yeah. kind of felt like. Yeah, I, I definitely, yeah, I feel... That was a bit of a, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I feel like... Yeah, something is obviously controlling them, obviously. Well, but. yeah. Well, yeah, obviously they're not yeah. just ghosts. Yeah. That would be crazy. Um, but no, I mean, they're they're kind of unknown <laughs> motive, like, throughout the whole, me the whole episode, I think, was actually kind of interesting. <laughs> because also, it shows a ghost, but it showed that they're really smart ghosts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Smart ghosts. yeah. They, 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 they could still learn, like... Like, they were doing things that um, the crew should know, but they they were doing it without the crew even knowing it. Yeah. And they're even able to send a message to that submarine to come mm -hmm. down yeah. when no one else knew about it until someone actually called. Yeah. That's and they were like, true. hey, we're already on our way. So, One thing I thought was yeah. cool was that, like, they had this, like, deaf 
character and like the whole thing with sign language, but then she was the only one who was able to like tell read the lips saying. and tell what they were saying. I, I thought that was cool. I was surprised yeah. they didn't think of it sooner. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Well, but even like as soon as I saw like the ghosts removing their lips, I'm like, oh, okay, they're going to do they're something gonna... with that. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Yeah. I thought it was cool. I thought it was I... nice to put somebody like that in there and show that they have strengths too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um. And her translator guy is like, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> um, so how do we feel about um, the fact that people actually knew Unit and actually knew who the Doctor was this time around? I was wondering when if he they showed were like, the psychic. That's becoming a more common theme. I was wondering yeah. if they were like a part of Unit somehow, or like somewhere. Well, this see, this was set based in, in the, the future. future. Yeah, but, like, but I'm sure Unit is still around. At I'm sure some capacity. capacity. Well, the, I mean. I don't really remember what exactly they were down there for. I think it was like oil or something. Well, yeah, it was. Yeah. Oil. At first it was oil, but then there was other stuff. I don't know. Yeah. So I'm wondering if that was some weird like offset of unit, like, because that one lady knew like everything about him. She was fangirling. <laughs> yeah. Hardcore. Hardcore. Right. Really? I mean, it sounds a lot like as time progressed, the unit is like more progressive yeah. in the whole like future thing, mm -hmm. which I mean we've like hinted at how many times. With, yeah. Like, so many. Sh on earth someone's yeah. gotta say something about it um but yeah no and i like the um kind of like the privatized almost form of military th operation going on there that gave me like a nice yeah. background to it mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah so like you even got some of the character tropes right away so you didn't have to like have an extensive backstory on each one yeah just focus on the plot of the episode yeah yeah so i mean um I know I usually don't talk about this too much in reviews, I talk outside of reviews, but I don't know if you guys really paid attention too much, but um, <clears throat> the the Doctor's music cues in this episode, um, like, I thought they really built the moments when he was like at mm -hmm. his highest point, mm -hmm. yeah. because, like, you know, it has, it has the theme of, you know, like, whatever it is, whenever he's doing something epic or right. so forth. Yeah. But, yeah. Like, in this one, there's times where there's, like, a darker tone of it, but then there's a happier tone of it, and... Yeah. yeah. It's funny, because I usually do pay closer attention to the music, but in a, in a show like Doctor Who, like, the first time I go through, I'm just trying to follow everything that's going on. Yeah. Like, like, like the second and third time I, I watch it, I'll, I'll pay more attention to the music. Once I know what's going on, then I have a chance to let myself sit back and listen to the music and appreciate it. That's why when I go back and watch, like... Old New Who. I'm just sitting there crying because I know what the music means. Old yeah. Who. Old New Who. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think I think Doctor Who is a, like a general show. It's really hard to follow. Like you have to watch the episodes a few times to actually understand to get everything. what yeah. actually happened. Because there's been a few times where like I you don't catch all the dialogue too because like they whisper half of it and you're like yeah. I'm sorry what? <laughs> it's like I need to go back and watch this with headphones when my roommates are being quiet. Yeah. yeah. Um. When I, uh, so at the beginning of this, I said the doctor felt more natural. Mm -hmm. um, I think one thing, tell me if you guys agree with this. Yeah. Um, That's why we're here. I know. <laughs> hey. Um, well, wait, we gotta I, disagree a little bit. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Well, tell him um, if we agree. I felt, because, okay, so the last two episodes, The Witch is Familiar and <clears throat> Magician's Apprentice, the doctor was rather serious mm -hmm. and everything. Mm -hmm. And this episode, like right off the bat, or back, or however you say that, um, bat, bat, yeah. bat. <laughs> um, the doctor was like, he had a humorous side. Yeah, it was, it was yeah. really. It was, he's back it in was, his element. He's back yeah. in his element. He, it was, it was again, well, again, he had a. He, he doesn't think relax. he's dying anymore. He doesn't think he's dying yeah. anymore. That's well, but, okay, but here, let me ask this then. Since the TARDIS was acting up around him, yeah. and he knew something was up. Do you still feel that his, his like humor with Clara being happy about it was, was really made that made the moment more memorable, or did it like? It reminded me of um, the Impossible Planet uh, with uh, Ten and Rose when they landed on that one planet and the TARDIS was being weird, and they were like, "Well, if you think there's gonna be trouble, we can always go back inside and go somewhere else." And then they just burst out laughing and kept going. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because the Doctor's always, like, whenever he's laying somewhere interesting or finds something off, even, like, the TARDIS is an instant cue that something's off. Yeah. So it's not in his nature to be like, oh, yeah. well, I should listen. That makes it more here. interesting for yeah. him. Yeah, that means that the TARDIS doesn't like it. That means that something's wrong and we need to go try to help. 
or see what's up. And yeah. uh, and also with like the writing that wouldn't translate in the in the ship, and they were, also reminded me of the Impossible Planet where there was all that super old writing. Yeah, yeah. that was artists. my favorite episode. Like I loved it. Oh my yeah. Great episode. Yeah. So. <sighs> We're going to talk about the part that made Connor just <laughs> speechless. So, okay, if, okay, if, seriously, if you've been watching this review and you have not seen the episode, what you are you doing? Don't pause right ahead. now, and then watch go. the episode, come back, because go, just, just learn by go, di go, go directly to the episode, do not pass go, do not collect $200. Unless you can collect $200. Then, then definitely case, collect $200. You can send all $200. But, <laughs> <laughs> but even if you don't, he'll distribute it. Don't pass it up. Yeah, he will pay us. Actually, he can buy that mystery costume. Seriously, we need money. Costume. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we need that mystery costume. <laughs> That's there $200. Nah, nah, nah. So give us money. <laughs> yes, we need money. No, we are not. Okay, <laughs> anyways. Ending. That's going to get you um, out. So, ending. So, okay, so the ghosts get really, really clever. Yes. They, uh,. Okay. Start to cause the um, nuclear plant uh, generator to malfunction, basically, causing the base to basically self flood itself, um, just so it can keep everything contained. Which was so. Cool. Which which is a good protocol. I will These say. are smart yeah. villains, and I like it. But it ends up separating Clara and the Doctor. Of course. On, the on their way to the TARDIS. On the way to the TARDIS. Of course. And the doctor's like, I'll come back and save you. And After Indiana Jones thing, that was awesome. I yeah, the doctor yeah. did, yeah. Did some I, cool. I wish he had a hat <laughs> to grab at the last second. So, so the doctor goes away with his two people, and Clara's stuck with her two people. And then we get to the end where they're in the lounge, and it's like, oh, there's nothing, nothing wrong. He'll come we're, back and He'll come back and save us, yeah. We look out the window, we see a, kind of a ghostly light. And then we see that they're focusing on it more and more and more and more, and then we finally get to the end. It's a freaking ghost of the doctor! Bum bum bum! What? To be continued! <laughs> what? <laughs> His exact reaction! <laughs> what? Yeah, no, I was much more reactive. Oh, yeah, way <laughs> more, yeah. <laughs> yes, this is just him trying to contain himself. <laughs> but, like. Because we said no cussing. <laughs> we said no cussing. Yeah. First but, off, uh, yeah. just because you say no cussing <laughs> does not mean it's going to slip out. Yeah, obviously. Second <laughs> off, we know he's not going to die. We know. Like, first off, character regenerates. Second off, <laughs> yeah. like, beginning of the season. Teasing the doctor's death is so cheap. Yeah, the show. yeah. Teasing the doctor's death has gotten kind of. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's old. different. It's yeah. different with the companions. They not, even, not, not even, not even. Because like, even I'll like, say something a little like the companions can die until the end of the season, or, so. or at the very least the middle of the season, like the smack yeah. middle yeah. of the season. I'm gonna say a little something controversial. Okay. I think the way that they handled the Doctor's death in Matt Smith era was a lot better than what they're doing now. Yes. Because yeah, that yeah. had a build-up. This was like, the yeah. Doctor is going to die, there is a serious thing to that. You knew it was his last regeneration, but it wasn't, yeah. so you didn't know how that was going to go out, and it made sense when it all came together. Mm -hmm. yeah. That went yeah. well. This whole, like, the Doctor's going to die, he's got a confession now. We know <laughs> he is not going to die. Yeah. We know Cabal's yeah. coming on. We know, like, everything else. So, I mean, this whole, yeah. like, Doctor's gonna die is starting to get old. Yeah. 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 Old, yeah. I think that that happened to me a little earlier because with, um, it, I mean, I love the Matt Smith era. It was just, like, every season they had, like, a continuous arc. It, it's, I think it, the reason it's it's gotten more old is because it's, like, every two episodes it's, like, the Doctor's gonna die. Well, yeah. And yeah. then he doesn't die. Yeah. The Doctor's gonna die. He doesn't It wouldn't be as die. bad if but in like, the last episode we didn't have the whole Doctor's gonna die. Yeah, and but, yeah. but, but, but Matt Smith... For me, Matt Smith's death had a teeny bit less of an impact. I mean, obviously, I cried, but like, um, but I was because, mostly because, sobbing. But, well, he was your first was doctor, though. <laughs> um, but like, they they tease us up his death like every season. Yeah. And, and then he didn't die. He found some way out of it. And even when I knew he was gonna die, I was still like, yeah. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> However, in this episode, I feel like it's less of a oh my god, the doctor's dead, and it's more of like, you know he's not gonna die, and they knew that you know that he's not gonna die, and it's more of just a, how is he gonna use this to solve the problem? Yeah. And it's less, and it's, cause like in the first episode it was like, oh, the confession dial, that's a little, uh, whatever, but like for this one it's not like, oh, he's gonna die, this is it, it's more of a, huh, he's dead, there's gotta be a reason for that, 
that's going to end up solving this specific issue and not like ending the series or whatever. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Oh, um, <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that, that ending, though. The ending, that though. ending though. Yeah. 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 Although, I will say, it that kind of does make us think, though, what really is going on. Because, as we said before, obviously these ghosts are being somewhat controlled. Right. Yeah. So, the question is for next week, because we've seen our trailer for the next one, but it doesn't, you know, give us really much right. to go off of. What is it that the Doctor finds in the past that, you know, kind of allows him to be under control, but then at the same time, you know, still kind of yeah. be mm -hmm. among them? Yeah. And how, how does he, like, die in the fact that, like, he can turn into a ghost? Because killing the Doctor is hard. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. So, so, like, what, <laughs> what, like, killed him in a way that could allow him to come back as a ghost? Exactly. And, yeah. and, I don't know, maybe it's me, but... Who has a feeling that even him as a ghost, he's actually is still going to help yeah, Clara Yeah, like in control others. somehow. Yeah. It will be interesting be, to see. Because if it was just like everyone was their own independent ghost, I could see that being a thing. Yeah. But they're not. They kind of have like that hive mind, yeah. everyone's doing the same exact yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. True. So that's why I'm very... Well, but see, the thing with that is, the Doctor was in the ocean. The other ghosts yeah. were in the base. Well, well that's because that's they were going, Yeah, didn't he die, yeah. like, at the chapel or whatever? Yeah, like, they, were gonna, they were going to go back in time before the flood and see what was uh, what was mm -hmm. going on back then. Yeah. So, I guess the assumption is that he died outside the base somewhere. Yeah. And only just now got back to it. <laughs> yeah. However long ago that was, I don't remember. Who knows. Alright, well, well so, I guess that's... Yeah, so that's... Uh, can I voice my frustration about it being another two-parter? Yes! <laughs> Do it! <laughs> I just... Like, I, like, we, like, we were talking about this earlier. There, there's such thing as too many two-parters. Yeah. Like, there's... Like, I, I love a two-parter. Yes. I'm a nice person. But, like... Yeah. Like, there's what, too many okay, in the like, season. Like, once in a while, have a two-parter. Don't have, like, the first six episodes yeah. all yeah. two-parters. For the it's, start... It's starting to... You no, go, go, no, you, no, no, you no. go ahead. After you. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> this is gonna get weird, but um, my brother and I recently discovered Power Rangers on Netflix, <laughs> like the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. The best. So we went, um, we kind of skimmed through all the episodes, and it, it, at first it's very episodic and you know very uh, all that stuff. We got to the later seasons, and it's all like five parters and six parters, and it's like why couldn't you just make these like TV movies or something? And yeah. that's that's sort of the feeling yeah. I'm getting, where it's like every other. Every two episodes, except for like two or two or four in this season, are are all two parters. Right. Yeah, and it's like, what are you guys doing? <laughs> I liked what they did almost, um, because I I like how the opening was a two parter. That worked really yeah. well. The two, the yeah, finale, was, the finale the finale is almost always a two parter. Yeah, yeah. so that yes. will also work well. That'll and even like, circle. what I can think of right now is in the Matt Smith season six era. With the two part in the middle of that was the deal with the flesh, which became yeah. a yes. huge deal yeah. in yes. further into the season, yeah. and that worked perfectly. Yeah. However, doing this so often it kind of loses that feel because the two part yeah. felt like you were getting something out of it. It was like a special occasion. Yeah. That's what made you go, yeah. "Oh my god, yeah. what are we doing next?" Instead, of like after every episode, like you don't have to like try and keep us hooked. We're hooked. Yeah. We're doing a Right yes. <laughs> Hi. And, and here. that's that was that's the thing with classic who that I liked. It had mm -hmm. it had four or five parts, but each part made the story that much better. Right. Yeah. yeah. I, I These really... I agree with you. The two parts in this, it's like uh, the first. Yeah. yeah. No, the first two were a great two parter. Yes. That was that was the yes. good two parter. Yeah. This two parter I feel is like. This should okay, have been one it should have been like one or two separate episodes where you mention the last episode, right. but the adventure takes place at it, this yeah. place. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Okay. yeah. It's just it's got to be a special thing. Like even just thinking back, like think of all the two parties you can think of right now, and the mm -hmm. memorable stuff. Like, yeah. Yeah. are you my mommy? How, how like, did the Mermoth that episode? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, <laughs> a lot of them. Were mm. <laughs> but my point is that they were memorable things, and I yeah. feel like in this a specific sense, especially with this episode, it just wasn't, in my opinion, good enough to be a two part. Yeah. Like I kept yeah. waiting for like yeah. the finish of it because I feel like they could have done this all in one episode. Oh yeah. And, and it would have been so yeah. like tightly written. If it 
would have been tightly written. Yeah. It would have been perfect. It's like um, people complain about in Avatar the Last. Not people, not people complain about, but just point out in Avatar the Last Airbender with the um, in like season three. When I keep referencing other shows, I hope that's okay. <laughs> I know. I love Avatar the Last Airbender. Well, yeah. So um, what was it? The Boiling Rock parts one and two. Um, yeah. Uh, like if um, Nostalgia Critic did a review of the, or Doug Walker did a review of mm -hmm. that and talked about how, yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, I found other people that like Doug Walker. Anyway, um, who have heard of him? Um, yeah, he talked about how they um, they kind of filled the time with like one escape attempt from this prison, at, which turned out not to work, which is you know realistic, but you know it felt like you could have maybe written that out and mm -hmm. then ha just made it all into one episode, and it, 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 it again it would have been like this one, it would have been really tightly written yeah. and all, super action packed and just like had, had your heart racing throughout the entire thing. And just I feel I felt like yeah. this could have been that. Yeah. Yeah. It kind like, of like I, really I expected funny. this. I expected this to be be one of those one of those heart racers uh, on the edge of your seat. Like, how are they gonna get out of it? Come I mean, on, you can do this. I mean, no, it's, come on. It's, it's a it's no listen. Yeah, it's no listen. Yeah, it's it's no, no listen. listen. Okay, but I have my own issues with listen. But yeah, yeah, I that's have, for I have that's issues. for that's another, another conversation. Yeah. <laughs> All right, but uh, I think yeah. So I think that's about it. So <laughs> what's your overall consensus? We'll start with Rachel this time. Is it Saturday yet? Is it is it next Saturday yet? <laughs> I wish. Well, <laughs> it is somewhere in the world. To the TARDIS! <laughs> to the TARDIS! Away! It's over there on the table. Oh, How are it's we gonna tiny! Fit? <laughs> oh, is there there will be a, there's a will, there's a way. <laughs> oh, gosh. Anyways, so, consensus. What, what, uh, out of ten? I'm gonna say 6.9. 6.9? 7. Um, why? Just pretty much for all the reasons that we just mentioned. Okay. Uh, we kind of just went over the reasons. I felt like it could have, again, it could have probably been condensed into a one-parter without all the, you know, drama. I mean, there's, yeah. there's obviously going to be drama in Doctor Who, but like, yeah. I felt like they really overplayed the drama a little bit. It felt, not like dragged out, but you could kind of tell that they're filling time a little bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah. and annoyed me a little bit, which is a feat. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna give it a 6 or a 7 too, just cause probably more in the 6 range, less than the 7 range, cause <coughs> I don't know. I'm being nice with my 6.9 to 7. Yeah, it was, I don't know, it just didn't impress me. It didn't have like that Doctor Who feel, and I know that I complain about Moffat a lot, but his episodes at least like really hook me. I did like that it had the John Barrowman type of Whatever, and if like Moffat and John Barrowman could just like connect again, like that would be me. Yeah. Yeah. Russell T Davies. Russell T Davies. That's what I meant. John yeah. Barrowman is is kind of like I mean, hey, whatever. It, it was his era, but he yeah. was not. I, mean, I did not mean John that. Barrowman could totally come back. So <laughs> yes, so please. Yeah, that's what I meant. I meant Russell T Davies. Davies. I just edit, that out. edit that yes. out. Edit that out. I'm gonna yeah. say it again. I'm gonna say it again. Okay, so like if uh, if like Moffat and like Russell T Davies could um, like. Work together. work together again, because that was the type of thing that I liked. Yeah. I, those were the kind of episodes that I liked. I like Moffat's yeah, humor, Russell. but I liked, like, the... Yeah, I'm the same, I'm the same, I mean, Russell T. Davies era just kind of spoke to me a little bit more than the yeah. Moffat era has. Nothing mm -hmm. really that bad about it, it's just the way that he kind of does the stories and exactly. does the character yeah. arcs. Yeah. Uh, I like the way Russell T. Davies did it a little bit more, but I'll keep watching it, but it's not enough to make me, like, hate Moffat or anything. I yeah. Mean, there, there are some like specific things that he might do that I'll be like, why? But nothing that'll make me like hate him. Yep, and then your consensus? My consensus, um, as an individual episode, I'll give it a 7. In the scope of a two-parter, I'll give it a 6.5. Because it, to me, it just seems like a very basic Doctor Who episode. Yeah. yeah. There was the thing, there's like the people that you meet, What's the thing? Yeah, you run around trying thing. to figure it out. There's a companion. There wasn't any, like, overall development with anything, minus, like, a line with Clara um, doing some character work. But even then, it was kind of, like, rushed through. Yeah. And yeah, that was really... Yeah, yeah that me, was the only thing in the episode that felt rushed. Yeah, I mean, it just... As a single episode, it would have been a pretty okay episode. I think seven would be good. But the fact that it's a two-parter, uh, two I mean... It's kind of a 6.5. I'm interested to see where the second one goes and if the second part is better. Um, 
which could totally be a thing. I mean, the second part. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That is freaking fantastic. The, 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 for all we know, the second part could save everything that yeah. we played yeah. about. So, but yeah. Well, we, but at least for this, looking at this episode alone, 6.5 or so. Yeah, I'm going to go 6.5 as well. I mean, yeah, you guys basically said it. it. It's a typical Doctor Who episode. It's typical Doctor tropes, typical companion tropes, mm -hmm. situation tropes, you mm -hmm. name it. It has pretty much all those aspects in it. Um... Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to hold some judgment back for mm -hmm. next week. Yeah, because yeah, then, we're trying to be nice. Because, because if, because <laughs> we'll if, because if, if next, nope. if, if, <laughs> yeah, because if next week is good, I may totally turn around and say, you know what? Now that I think about it, this was actually a good first part or two. It and then, yeah, right. But again, yeah, the episode right. alone, yeah, six point five. Mm -hmm. So, um. Yeah, so that was our episode, our episode three of Doctor Who Series Nine. Yeah. You, um, did we, we, just... we, I don't know. Yeah, I, don't know. <laughs> I don't know what just happened. Um, just like so, the <laughs> some of us may be back next week. It might just be me and Alex next week. It might just be me next week. Who knows? We don't know. We don't know. Just like we don't know what's going to happen next week. <laughs> uh, it's all a mystery. <laughs> But anyways, so... As we all awkwardly laugh to ourselves. Yes. <laughs> ah, okay. funny. Okay. So anyways, um, if you liked anything we said in this episode, or if you agree, disagree, um, put it in the comments below. Again, please be nice with the comments. We are all fans here, so we can all talk nicely to each other. Um, if also, you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it. Yep. She's, Second grade rules. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> um, if you like this episode, of course, like and subscribe to my channel. I will put these guys' channels in the link below. Um, and yeah, so until next time, peace out, guys. Bye. Bye.